1972, a crack commando unit was sent to prison by a military court for a crime they didn't commit. These men promptly escaped from a maximum security stockade to the Los Angeles underground. Today, still wanted by the government, they survive as soldiers of fortune. If you have a problem, if no one else can help, and if you can find them, maybe you can hire the A-Team. Hello, I'm Gerardus Bodnorst of JCP Group 67. During our community service hours at the Wetnose Animal Center, I primarily wor worked on the storage unit renovation and the pathway construction. The outdoor storage unit of Wetnose was in a mess when we first got there. What was basically a scrap heap towered above our heads. It was decided to first remove everything and separate the no longer usable from the usable. There were waterlogged pieces of wood, pieces of rusted metal, many many tires and previously used wet known signs, among other things. We checked every single item to ensure that if it was reused, that it would be functional and safe when used. Molded wood was thrown out, torn tires were separately stored for later recycling, tangled mesh and tangled wire were disposed of according to the appropriate methods. We made use of some engineering tricks and set up shelves in the storage unit that would allow us to store more materials without blocking a pathway through all the materials inside. We built this shelf using several A-frames and wooden beams we found in the same storage unit. It took us the entire first day, but we had persevered through the hot day and reorganized the storage unit to give wet nose access to a large amount of previously inaccessible materials. We had practiced the ability to be efficient while working under stress. It was good hard work and it was only the beginning of what we wanted to do. Hello, my name is Aris van der Baer and I'm part of JCP Group 67. We were tossed at Wetnose, and one of our major projects there was to make the puppy park look more attractive. We did this by actually building a pathway. In order to build a pathway, we had to go get a lot of bricks and a lot of outdoor tiles. We decided we were going to build a pathway using those. We first had to go get the tiles, which we actually found in the storage unit. We then had to load that onto a bucky and then drive it to the place. It was a lot of hard labor. Looking back, I'm actually surprised we did all of that. Next thing we did was we actually painted on the bricks and the tiles. And we put in puppy paw prints. One would be blue and one would be pink. We had to map out how wide uh, we wanted the uh, steps to be from each other, um, how many like tiles and how many bricks we would need, you know, just estimating. And then actually trying to plan out the actual route of the puppy park path. And then we actually, on the first day, I'm proud to say we actually did like start planting a few, just because we needed to actually see how long it would take. Marisol Immelmann and I was Head of Communications for our project at Witness. 
I communicated mainly with the WICNOS organizers and with the module coordinators from the University of Pretoria. I also helped to rebuild the puppy pens and I painted signs for the puppy trail. We started the deconstruction of the old puppy pens by removing any chicken mesh or wire and all the bolts from the original frame. We also sanded it down, but I'm sure Clyde will tell you more about that later on. for the puppy trail. One in the beginning of the trail and another facing the entrance of Wetnose and the road. Hello, I'm Clyde Rue and I was in charge of the reconstruction of the puppy pen. Once we had taken some of the original components off of the puppy pen, we could begin with the reconstruction of it. We began by cutting apart the old frame, leaving some of it intact. We could then start reassembling the frame. Once the frame was complete and mesh was sourced, we fastened the mesh to the frame. We attached newly bought latches to the gate and applied a special paint designed to be weather resistant. Once the reconstruction was complete, we moved the puppy pen to its designated location. After a month, we returned to find the puppy pen just as we had left it, proving our work to be a great success. Just when we thought we've seen the last of wet nurse, I was approached by a charity group who wanted to donate 35 dog blankets to Wet Nose and asked my group to go and deliver them. We were more than happy to oblige. In the end of the day, it does not matter about how many hours you did. What matters is that you actually gave back to the community because those are the ones you have to help. My group and I said one thing throughout. We're not doing this for the hours, we're doing it for the community and the dogs because they are the ones who benefit. Well, you came to the right coat uh, 37 years ago, a witch done put a spell on me. 
A spell where when I'm talking, I'm singing it with glee. And when you're always singing, you've got to live. Apparently in a herd. That's why this old mountain girl to be prepared. Ah dee 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 d